Happy Thursday everyone taking a look over West Michigan. We have the most perfect day at least in my eyes. Temperatures are comfortable. A strong breeze, hardly a cloud in the sky and you can see that reflected all across West Michigan this evening. As we take a look, my favorite view of the entire evening as well. South Haven, get a look at all those sailboats, our kite border, enjoying the water, but I will say that the water temperature is only in the lower 50s. So those are some brave souls out there. Look at that jump and he lands it. Amazing. Taking a look at our satellite and radar. We have high pressure and full control. Sunshine is going to be the story for the next couple of days leading into our holiday weekend. As for the estimated amount of Canadian wildfire smoke, we are sitting pretty at this moment. That's because our winds are pretty strong from the northeast, kicking a lot of that Canadian wildfire smoke towards our south and west, but it could start to settle into West Michigan for this weekend, though it is not likely to bring an exceptional haze, just a little bit of haziness here and there. Our weather headlines shows that tonight because of our clear skies, we do have colder temperatures. Another frost advisory has been placed for Friday. Temperatures will be in the 70s, more sunshine, and we will be hitting the 80s for this upcoming weekend. Our evening planner shows mostly sunny skies, 59 degrees by 9 p.m., eventually 52 by 11 p.m. this evening. But our coldest temperature will be around 39 degrees in Grand Rapids, the lower 40s along the immediate lakeshore line. The reason we are actually going to stay warmer closer to the shoreline is because our water temperatures are in the lower 50s. So it is technically going to be warmer in the water than what it is in our air for tonight. We do have a frost advisory from 2 a.m. until 8 a.m. on Friday where temperatures could fall as low as 36 degrees. A greater risk for freeze will be north of Big Rapids closer to Cadillac and Houghton Lake where temperatures could fall as low as 31. Our Friday planner, a beautiful day, 62 degrees by noon, perfect to go for that walk early in the morning. Temperatures climb to a high of 73, so a bit warmer tomorrow than what it was today. And winds will be calmer from the east, ranging between 5 to about 10 miles per hour. A high of 75 in Kalamazoo, 73 in Holland, and 75 in Fremont, about 71 degrees in Muskegon. So a really nice day to be along the lakeshore. Our Lake Michigan forecast has the water temperatures in the lower 50s. They are climbing each and every day, with wave heights ranging between 1 to 2 feet. Throughout the day, winds will be ranging up to 50. 15 miles per hour, a few stronger wind gusts are possible along the lakeshore. So our future track shows just a few wispy clouds throughout the rest of tonight, and that's also going to be the story throughout the day on Friday, Saturday, Sunday and into Memorial Day Monday. A completely dry stretch of weather. Our next chance of rain will start to pop up this upcoming Wednesday and Thursday, but even at that, it's a low chance of rain. Temperatures are going to be quite toasty, so we'll have a pop up shower or thunderstorm possible. A high of 78 degrees on Saturday, around 85 degrees for Memorial Day. A close a closer look with our Super 7 Day shows that for our parades and for our gatherings, we're expected to have temperatures mainly around 64 degrees by the morning for Memorial Day, climbing to that high of 85, but at least we'll hold on to the comfortable conditions for the start of the day. Take a look at the rest of our Super 7 Day, a high of around 89 degrees on Wednesday, 90 on Thursday. The chance of a pop up shower or thunderstorm possible, but at this point, no threat of severe weather. Stay tuned with us for your latest forecast.